Okay, this question deals with an important concept from chapter three. <laughs> this one's a little embarrassing for me as an instructor, as I'll explain at the end of the video. This question shows liquid water flowing down a steeply inclined pipe. The pipe is completely filled with water and has a constant inside diameter. The question asks, which curve represents the average velocity u-bar along the length of the pipe? And I've shown a sketch here of the average velocity. So does the average velocity increase along the pipe, stay constant, decrease linearly along the pipe, or increase nonlinear along the pipe? If you've done some problems involving pipe flow in chapter three, uh, you should be able to answer this question. You might want to pause the video here and think about it. So the answer is curve B. The average velocity of the fluid remains the same along the entire length of the pipe. And you can understand this by looking at the definition of volume flow rate. We learned in chapter three that the volume flow rate in say cubic meters per second is the average velocity times the cross sectional area of the pipe. Now for this problem, we have liquid water, so we have an incompressible flow. And for an incompressible flow, the volume flow rate is a constant. So at any cross section of the pipe, we have the same volume flow rate, the same number of cubic meters per second passing any section. And we can rearrange Q equals U bar A, and we can get that the average velocity is the volume flow rate divided by the cross sectional area of the pipe. And if the flow rate's a constant, and clearly the cross-sectional area of the pipe is a constant because the internal diameter is a constant, then the average fluid velocity at any X location is a constant. Now, this type of pipe flow would normally be driven by a pump, but this answer is the same even for a purely gravity-driven flow. This is not like a ball rolling downhill. The flow doesn't speed up. It's even true for an unsteady flow. If, for example, the pump increases the flow rate, the instantaneous flow rate will be the same at any cross section in the pipe. So the average velocity of the fluid will be the same at any X location in the pipe. I asked this question on a quiz after my students had finished studying chapter three, and these are the sad statistics. If you picked curve A or curve C and thought that the mean flow velocity increased along the pipe, you're not alone. About 85% of my students thought this too incorrectly. So I'm not proud that only 8% of my students got this question correct. This was definitely a failure on my part. So I thought it'd be useful to take a few minutes and make this video. I hope this short video helps to correct this common misconception.